New figures show over the last 12 months, tourists continue to come to the UK and spend billions of pounds, supporting 2.7 million jobs. Despite the worldwide economic downturn, tourism chiefs say visitor numbers are holding up well. Britain is doing fairly well. We had 32 million visits last year, spending £16.4 billion here in this country. However, the number of visitors is down about 2%. So it might, it might be worrying that you know, it's not, no more visitors are visiting us because of the exchange rate at present. Now, with a weakened pound, it could lead to more international visitors. To capitalise on this, Visit Britain has launched a major new campaign, highlighting the value the UK offers to incoming tourists. From April we'll be launching the £6.5 million campaign to really focus on um, the fact that Britain has never been more affordable because of the exchange rate and telling people that there are a great many things that they can do here for free or for, for less money than they would have been spending before. Visitors will find that their pound goes further, which makes the UK much more affordable compared to other tourist destinations. The exchange rates, not just from the Eurozone countries and from the US, but now from other parts of the world as well, it means it's much more affordable for people to come here and they'll find that their money goes that much further. While Britain has key heritage sites that attract millions of people each year, the aim of the campaign is to highlight the range and diversity of things to do while coming to the UK. There's a whole wealth of things that people can enjoy here, everything from walking in the countryside to outdoor activities uh, to visiting some of the free museums and galleries that make Britain um, unique in many ways. Um, there's a lot of heritage attractions, as you rightly say. Um, also, we're a country of film tourism. You know, Harry Potter films here, the new Sherlock Holmes movie is coming out, taps into our great literary heritage. I mean, there's a lot of things that people can enjoy here that they'll be used to doing or used to hearing about from overseas, and now they can come and experience it for themselves. Visit Britain is also linking up with other well-known institutions that are known overseas and emphasising what else Britain has to offer. One of the key elements of our strategy is trying to make sure that um, as people encounter British brands and, and British personalities, they also are encouraged to find out a little bit more about that part of the country. For instance, we're working with the Premier League um, so that when people, are, if they're interested in following their favourite Premier League football team, they can try and find out a little bit more about where that football team is based. It's also important that places outside the UK capital are given prominence to highlight the range of attractions around the country. <laughs> Very much now, um, some of our nearer European neighbours in France and Germany are quite familiar with Britain as a destination, will be familiar with Scotland and Wales and indeed many of the English regions. So our partners, um, Visit Scotland, Visit Wales, regional development agencies, will be leading on attracting people from those countries to come to Britain. In terms of more newer and emerging markets, um, say Brazil, Latin America, Southeast Asia, where their familiarity with Britain is probably only about London and possibly they know that London is in the UK, there Britain will take the lead and, and very much focus on um, some of the top line attractions, the biggest or bigger attractions, the bigger destinations and really try and give an introduction, a flavour of what Britain can offer as a holiday destination. With millions of UK jobs and the economy dependent on tourism, the Visit Britain Value campaign aims to ensure the UK continues to attract millions of tourists from around the world.